So right off the rip, I'm gonna just let you guys know that in this video, we're not gonna be talking about spoilers. It's gonna be 100% spoiler free. I'm not gonna be showing imagery of leaks or of any of that kind. However, I am gonna be talking about the data mine information that is flowing out on the web right now. And that does contain a, a little bit of information about shiny Pokemon. Now, if you don't wanna be spoiled on that, peace, I love you guys. No harm, no foul, I'll see you in the next one. But if you don't consider that a spoiler, stick around. And let's talk about what Pokemon is going to be shiny locked inside a Pokemon a sword and shield. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. And unfortunately, if you're one of those people who want to shiny hunt every Pokemon inside a Pokemon sword and shield, well, you're not going to be able to do that exactly. Let's start it off with reading the tweet from the data miner himself, who says, as usual, with the model shown in the overworld, the legendaries and starters you obtain in the game are shiny locked. He continues to say, for those confused, use what this means this prevents the model from showing up as shiny and prevents the actual Pokemon you obtain from being shiny. This is the same situation in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee games. Basically, any Pokemon in the game that is in the overworld in a static position that you have to go over and initiate the battle or the sequence to actually get the Pokemon, they cannot be shiny at all. They won't be shiny in the overworld. They won't be shiny once you pick them, including the starters and legendaries in the game. Game. So Grookey, Snorble, Score Bunny. In the beginning of the game, when you go and pick them, they're not going to be available as shiny. However, he doesn't really clarify on whether we could breed for the shiny starters. And I kind of would say that that's a yes on that. Because in past games, Litten, Papio, and Rowlet were able to get via both ways though if you think about it as in we could breed for them and shiny hunt them in the start of the game but that was very tedious and i don't know who done that and if you did you're a madman However, because we're getting them in a different situation where they're not from these static poses, you would think that they're not shiny lock in that way. So hopefully that is the case. Do take it with a grain of salt. I'll probably do a follow-up video as far as when the games come out, confirming this or you basically clearing up whether you can breed for these Pokemon. However, I do think that is a thing. Let me know in the comment section below as well if the games come out and that information is out there that if you can breed for the shiny Pokemon so we can keep this video with the truthful information attached to it as possible. The shiny legendaries, the doggos, we kind of know that there weren't going to be shiny inside of the games. They always do this X and Y, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. The legendary Pokemon were always shiny locked. This is not new information it's just kind of unfortunate coming out of the let's go games where Mewtwo and the legendary birds were all able to get shiny hunted and that's quite unfortunate that in these games there's taking literally a step back from let's go when it's like come on it's let's go they should learn from let's go but they're taking a step back and basically not allowing us to shiny hunt obviously i think this is just an oversight a precautionary way to kind of have what you see and pick inside of the cutscene represent the pokemon that you have in game which kind of sucks i would just prefer i wouldn't even care if it, my pokemon was shiny <laughs> and then in the cutscene it wasn't shiny i would i i wouldn't bat an eye but you know they they want those details to kind of match up so i kind of understand why they would do that and code the game like that however it is unfortunate for us shiny hunters who do want all methods as far as to shiny hunt the starters or to shiny hunt our legendary pokemon i do want to note that we don't know what other legendaries are in this game or if there are other legendaries in this game if there's a legendary trio birds or whatever like we got in previous games since gen 1 there's usually another legendary pokemon with the box legendaries or you know a trio of pokemon with the box legendaries and we don't know if those pokemon are also going to be shiny locked i would think so as well as them probably going to have an area in the game where you go and they're going to be a static location that prevents them from being shiny just as the dog goes and the starter pokemon previously said by this guy in the tweet i'm kind of okay with it 
But I kind of wish they just gave us the opportunity to shiny hunt because it is exciting, especially for legendary Pokemon to shiny hunt. I kind of understand why they would do this, again, to make sure the player is more focused on the story rather than trying to get an exclusive shiny Pokemon. But however, play as you play, they should give us the opportunity to do it if we wanted to. I haven't caught in the Mewtwo inside of my Pokemon Let's Go games because I've been shiny hunting it and I've been putting it off because the shiny hunting and Pokemon Let's Go, it's not too fun for me. As far as the legendaries are concerned, the other Pokemon are pretty fun, but the shiny hunting of the legendaries is something that I was putting off to the end and I actually never got it. So I haven't caught in in game the legendaries at all, but I did bring them over for a go just for the Pokedex entries so I can get my shiny charm. However, I do wish they gave us the option. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You're one of those people who shiny hunt every method and want every Pokemon in your deck shiny when they enter it. Or are you one of those people who, you know, it doesn't really matter if they give you the option. They're probably going to give us that option later on down the line. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's meet it up and talk about it down there. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. It does help me out as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can like and enjoy the video. And also, get this information and if you're new around here hit that subscribe button i do videos like this daily as far as cover pokemon news or once sword and shield comes out i'm gonna have a ton of coverage on the games as far as guides and stuff like that so you do want to be subscribed to keep up with everything about the sword and shield games peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one like always guys i'm daddy i'm Fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one